This week, we are bringing you in one of the most epic countries in the world, Iceland. Iceland. first trip Maggie and I had together and uh, this was our first van life experience as well I think so the images you'll see are from 2016 four years ago yeah four years ago when it's you been were a just while. a baby and uh, you'll see like this was one of my favorite trips it's just Iceland is beautiful you mm -hmm. drive and every 20 minutes that the landscape changes and it's completely different and it's just so beautiful so actually this is where we got the name van life saga because yeah. saga is the old word for story in Icelandic language yeah. and you'll see Iceland is full of surprises it looks like the North Pole mixed with the Grand Canyon mixed with Delaware <laughs> so. Iceland is very 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 beautiful so we hope you enjoy our trip as much as we do yes hi we're Dom and Marie since 2016 we traveled the world by van looking for the perfect road trip until we decided to buy and convert our own little home on wheels that we named Vanessa. Every Sunday, we share parts of our van life experience with as much details as possible. Tips, tricks, and stories that we hope will inspire you to start your own travel project. But for now, buckle up, subscribe, and enjoy the ride for this new episode of Van Life Sagas. Our trip was a 12-day trip and it's a very short distance flight. Like Montreal to Reykjavik, which is the capital of Iceland, yeah. is like four hours. I think from New York it's like five hours or five, five hours and a half. It's very easy to reach by plane. Very, very close country, mm -hmm. no uh, layovers, it's just a direct flight, super easy. And when you get to Iceland, you know you're in a different, it looks like a different planet. Actually, the first encounters we had was with the, 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 the team at Happy Campers. Mm. And it's very weird because you fly over this gray, rocky piece of land and then you see their garage and it's like green. Yeah. <laughs> So you just go in there and they, they they welcome you with all the smiles and all the warmth and everything. Do you remember the, the, the name of the guy? The name of the guy that we rented from is Thor. This is already the best trip in the world. I was there for 45 minutes and I was like, this is the best trip. The, guy, our, the guy's name is Thor. We could name our kid Thor Fushi. Thor Fushi would be nice. <laughs> And the guys at Happy Campers are so nice. You get there and then they have this big map on the wall and Thor showed us like where we where should go, go, what are the main spots, what are the cool campgrounds. Very, very cool place and very, very cool team as well. Yeah. So you get there and uh, you basically go around uh, their Renault Master. Yes, which is the same as a ProMaster, it's yeah, similar. It's uh, the Renault version of the ProMaster and it's very nice because it's a uh, seat for sleep for. Yeah. There's two double beds at the back and there's a very simple piece of furniture with drawers, colorful drawers, a fridge and a cooktop. And you seriously don't need much more, especially mm -hmm. when you're renting and you're not living in it full time. It was thought out to be an adventure machine for four people. And yeah. we spent 12 days wandering around the island in a big yellow truck. Fresh way to brew fresh coffee and tea. Oh, 
So if you only have a couple of days to travel around Iceland, they have a small circuit that you can do that is called the Golden Circle. Even their smallest itinerary sounds very epic. The Golden Circle. The Golden Circle. And the Golden Circle is full of small natural attractions that are very, very beautiful. It has like three or four main attractions, uh, starting with the Goldfoss. Fun fact, every word that ends in foss means like fall, so like it's a waterfall. So Goldfoss, which is a massive waterfall, you also have the crater. The crater Kerid. Kerid crater. Yeah, it's just um, a massive volcanic hole that you can walk around. You also have Stokur, I believe is the name. Strok Strokur. The geysers. The geysers. The geysers. Yeah. And then you have uh, Tingvellir or Pingvellir. My R R S Icelandic pronunciation is horrible, obviously. And that is just like a big uh, a canyon. Yeah, it's a big canyon. So, so that's that's how you start exploring Iceland and already you're like, whoa. And what's nice also, I realized, you can do the golden circle and at the end, you can stop at the Blue Lagoon. So there are many ways, actually no, that's not true. There is one way to go around Iceland on a highway. There's one highway, it's called the Ring Road, Highway it's 1. Highway 1, and this is how you go around the whole island to see all the main attractions. So the first part of the Ring Road is the south shore of Iceland, so you'll be on the side of the water for most of your trip. All the way up to Stocksness, which is the most famous one of the most famous beaches in the country and something very paradoxical happened during the trip. I was really, really looking forward to seeing Stockness because it's just like this beautiful mountain and it's like usually you see the reflection on the water and you're on the beach and you see it. So Dom and I wanted to see the sunset there, but uh, <laughs> When we got there, it was the foggiest day of the trip. Like we could only see like a couple of meters ahead. So we didn't see the mountain at all. We didn't see Stockness at all, at all. But I mean, we were alone. It was pitch black. It was very, very dark because of the fog. It felt like a of... Lord of the Ring movie. Yeah. I think my favorite part was the hike on that glacier that I can't pronounce, which is called Solheima Jokul. Solheima Jokul. So uh, at one point we were driving at, and all the sand transformed into big ice caps. And I was like, we want to go walk on this. And obviously they had walking tours. I licked the glacier. So this is where she licked the glacier. And this is where Interstellar was shot, partly. Oh, really? Yeah, the scene where they get on the ice planet, this is the ice planet. No way. Yeah. So it's. I was like, what? We just left the beach where they shot Star Wars and now we're on the glacier where they shot Interstellar. So this is what the, shore, the, the south shore of Iceland is about. It's all like epic, epic sceneries. It's just out of this world. Yeah. <laughs> Moi dans le jogger, boy, c'est ça, tu sais. So when you get to Stocksness, your trip on the South Shore 
is ending. But there's a very big switch in the atmosphere because you're leaving the shore right. where everything is, you know, foggy, gloomy, fresh. You have the Gulf Stream, it's really hot. And yeah. then you drive, you drive, and you get to orange flats, big mountains, big rocks, and it feels like you're on planet Mars. I, it, there's no other countries like that one, I think. Yeah. It's, it just feels like you're not on Earth anymore. And it's just like a new... World. World. Yeah. You arrive in the place called Namafall. Miveten. Miften? Miften. M Y V A T N. And there's an accent on the A. Miften. Miften. Yeah. And this is where all the power plants for geothermal energy is. Mm -hmm. So you get there and everything is smoking. Like yeah. the, the earth is red. Um, the ground is just smoking hot. There's clouds everywhere on the ground. You'll, you see the highway, you see people taking pictures, but you don't see much except rocks and fog, right? That looks like Blade Runner 2049. Exactly. You've seen Blade Runner. This is what the Namafall and Mif Mivaten area looks like. Yeah. So it's, it's just crazy. It's, yeah. it's, it's, I've never seen that before. And, and something very weird is the smell. It smells like fart. It smells like sulfur. <laughs> so all the smoke you see is probably from the earth smelling sulfur. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, you know like how you were really shy of like pooping and farting with me? I could have just farted all the time. I'm right? sure you did. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Like you let the first 10 days of like you keeping it in like all go that, that day. I'm yeah. sure you did. And then you, you keep on driving, you keep on driving and you arrive at Accurary. Let's go! Et on se rend dans un petit café, euh, travailler sur nos laptops, euh, éditer des photos, des vidéos. Puis je pense qu'on arrive dans un festival parce qu'il y a beaucoup de musique, puis toutes les rues sont barrées, puis le monde, ils ont toutes l'air. Euh... There was a festival there, a country festival. I was like, okay, this is a, you know, it's a good vibe. And I didn't think we would have that kind of festival in the north. Yeah, so Akiyeri was just crazy. There were candles everywhere. We were watching this show. So yeah, no, Akiyeri was, it, it was the highlight of the north, I think. Yeah. After the power plants. We would, I would move there. Yeah. In a heartbeat. We're going in the west of Iceland. Maybe we're gonna find some cowboys in the west of Iceland. One thing you can do um, if you don't have that much time, instead of going in the West Fjords, which would take another couple of days, you can go on the Snæfellsnes Peninsula. Which is what we did. Snæfellsnes. Snæfellsnes Peninsula. And this is where you'll see the famous black church. You may have seen this one. It's a very small church. Very pretty church. Yeah. There's also this um, nice little cone, nice little coney mountain where the famous waterfall is at the bottom of the mountain. And there's the um, lighthouse from the Walter Mitty movie. Yeah, also. So this is very nice. Uh, it's, it's, I don't think it's as epic a, as the South Shore, but it's very, very charming. Yeah. And uh, at the beginning or at the end of your trip, you can visit Reykjavik mm -hmm. because it's the capital city. It's culturally very, very vibrant. The church is amazing. It's a church that is built uh, with the same layout as the rocks on the side of the beaches. Yeah. C'est une église. Oh my God. C'est une église. On dirait une église du Mordor. C'est l'église du Seigneur des Anneaux. Just the vibe in general in Iceland yeah. is just so nice. Reykjavik full of like little coffee shops and mm -hmm. little cafes and it's just beautiful. I never thought it would be so warm and so welcoming mm. in Iceland mm. actually. Yeah. So yeah, Reykjavik to start or to end your trip is just perfect. Yeah. Have a beer, 
sleep, camp wherever you want. Actually, the camp, the campground in Reykjavik is right in the center of the city. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. So that was fun. Yeah, um, crazy beautiful country. Yeah. Love, love you, baby. This, is this it. was how we spent 12 days in Iceland. This was our first trip together. No, seriously, uh. Iceland is just like a very freaking beautiful country. If you ever want to try van life, mm -hmm. this is the place to do it. You know, you can't go wrong. It's just beautiful everywhere. There's plenty of space. Um, Especially with happy campers, their van are very, very well made for you to try van life. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's nothing complicated and you don't have to you know, search for attractions or parking or whatever. You just drive around and you visit, right? Yeah. So we would recommend going during shoulder season, which would be... April, May and September are the best months to visit, visit Iceland, yeah. If you're tough and if you like winter, you can go during winter. Prices are going to be lower, there's going to be less people, there's going to be way more snow. So yeah, in the next few weeks, we will bring you on all the past international van life trip we did. And this includes... New Zealand? Norway. Norway. Where we got engaged. United States of America. Oh, that was a sick trip as well. And we also did South Africa. South Africa. Have you ever seen a giraffe from your van? We did. It was crazy. <laughs> so, see you next week in New Zealand. See you next week. French lesson number 10. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? Do you want to sleep with me? At the beginning of the sentence, you have the typical French English inversion. Voulez, want, and vous is you. Voulez-vous, do you want? Coucher is to sleep. Avec is with. Et moi is me. However, what we need to understand here is that in French, sleep means to do the dodo, the dormir. À la nuit, during the night. But sleep, when you say coucher, means to have the sexy times. So, when you travel abroad and you ask Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? When someone asks you if you speak French, it is not really appropriate. But it is very funny. <laughs> Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? Do you want to sleep with me?